Hi, Hi YouTube, YouTube family. family! My name is Alicia English. And I'm Philip English. Welcome back to our channel. Today is super fun. Not only are we going to flip furniture, we're going to flip rules. Alicia's normally doing the DIY, but today the doctor's on doctor's orders. <laughs> I'm going to do the DIY. If you can believe it, I did not throw my neck out doing that huge build, but I did throw my neck out sleeping the other night. And so I'm on strict orders to get rest, heat compression and take Advil. So I'm not lifting furniture and not flipping this DIY. But I think that you're going to flip out because Philip is going to flip this piece of mid-century modern furniture that mom picked up for only $45. Mom was on Marketplace and she saw this amazing cabinet. It's amazing when your mother-in-law and you have the same taste. So when you see something online, you're like, oh, that's a good score. So Philip and I went and picked it up the other day. We couldn't wait to show our YouTube family. So we're going to restore it during this video. And now I don't know if Alicia and I have the same idea where we want to put this furniture or take this furniture. She might be a little shocked at the color that I chose to do this <laughs> furniture. And my mom too, I'm sorry. I think I'm gonna go something a little drastic with this one. I think so. And you might be surprised what color he's gonna paint on this, but not surprised that we're gonna use our favorite beauty tone paint. Mom had a really good find with this piece. This is mid-century modern goodness. We're always so excited when we pick up mid-century modern pieces because they're so versatile. They fit in every one space just with a little bit of paint, little touch up here and there, and you can decorate this to any style you want. As soon as I saw this piece, I had a vision. And I don't know if it's the same vision that Alicia likes or maybe possibly my mom, but I think I'm gonna go bold with this and I'm gonna stick with what I originally thought when I saw the piece. It's Let's... always good to go with your gut feeling. We always say that, right? Oh, we always say it's always good to go with our gut, for sure. And I know Alicia might be a little worried when I open up the can in a second, <laughs> but I think in the end, she'll really like it. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. So the first step that I'm going to do before I go over and paint this is I'm going to take the hardware off. It has two different style hardware. It has some gold handles down here and they're super cute. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> Listen, I'm working with a gimbal here. <laughs> yeah. Wish that I could stay. Wish for this moment to never go away. But it's all in my mind. What are you doing with the handles? <laughs> I'm going to spray paint these handles. What color are you going to use? I'm going to spray paint them gold. Gold? Well, they're originally gold. Or patina gold on it anyway, so we're just going to bring out the gold on it. Perfect. Remember that one china cabinet that I did, the navy blue one, and I had to get an insert because it was cracked from the yeah, trim? Yeah. Thank goodness Home Hardware does cut glass. Yeah, Home Hardware always has everything you kind of Right? Need. Okay, so tell me your plan. What are you thinking of doing to the cabinet? I can see what color you're going to choose, which I'm kind of excited about. It's a bold choice, but I think it's going to look good. Thank you, thank you. I think it's actually something I would have chose too. I don't think I'm going to tell them yet until I open the cam. We're very selective on what we paint, and although on camera this piece might look really good, but it's really not. It's super dinged up. It's scratched all over. There's no one that's going to want this in their house the way that it is. So we're going to add a little bit of paint. Are you ready to see the paint color? I'm ready. I can see a little bit of peeking through the top of the can. Okay, come <laughs> and on. And I saw on my shelf where you grabbed it from. <laughs> also, we're using Beauty Tone Signature Paint Series, and this is a great paint. I'm super clumsy, so I don't want to I did put a drop cloth down for you, but... I'm standing <laughs> over the carpet. Oh, so nice. When I paint furniture, I always use my Alicia English brand paintbrushes. <laughs> These paintbrushes paint on so smooth and there's never brush strokes. Get your Alicia English paintbrushes today at Alicia English on Etsy. <laughs> oh, I'm my big spokesperson. <laughs> no, really though, they're sweet. <laughs> Wash with warm water. Easy peasy. Oh my gosh, you're just getting right to it. I figure that's the only way to do it is just dive into it, right? Okay, so in the seven years that I've been refin like refinishing furniture, yeah. I think I've only painted two black pieces of furniture. Both were custom pieces. 
oh actually three and then i painted one lower piece of a hutch black and then i did a white pattern on it so i haven't really done a whole lot of black pieces this is a bold choice i'm a bold man <laughs> i'm really not at least you chose to wear a black sweater in case you flick black paint on yourself <laughs> i knew yeah elisha normally paints with no draw cloth look at what we have down oh, yeah. today yeah i have a draw cloth I got it all laid out. For I've you. never seen a drop cloth in this house until <laughs> I'm like, I'll paint. Now a drop cloth shows up. I'm pretty happy that I chose to go with the wood on the inside and not paint the wood on the inside. It gives it that more modern look, making the mid-century modern piece 2020. And because I've left the wood, I don't think I'm gonna put the glass back on. I think I'm gonna leave it wood. I kinda like that choice. I think this is a bold color on this mid-century modern piece, but against the color of the wood tones. And check out that amazing grain in the background. Sometimes they're that press board in the background. This is actually wood. So I like that you left that. I think that was a great touch. Thanks, son. I can just imagine once the gold hardware's on and staging it up without the glass. That's Don't gonna imagine look... too much. <laughs> it's gonna look so good. Okay, so this is your second coat. Yes. And isn't it interesting that a super black paint, you think you could coat in one coat, but when the wood tones are coming through the black, you kind of need that second coat, right? It's funny because I think you can see the wood coming through a lot more with the black than anything else, which is weird. Yeah. yeah. I always find painting black and red are pretty tricky. So you're doing a really good job. I'm super impressed with their painting skills. And I know your favorite thing to do is not painting. So you're killing it. <laughs> Thanks, I'm, I learned from the best. <laughs> it's super easy to paint when you're using an Alicia English custom. Oh man. <laughs> I'm excited. I haven't really done a piece by myself and I think it turned out absolutely amazing. Leave down in the comment section if you love it or if you hate it. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. Let me know. I worked really hard on it. I love the different, the two-tone, the wood, the natural earth feel it gives, and then the black, the stark, dynamic. It's not gonna be staged like this in our home. This is just some of the knickknacks that I chose to put inside the shelf to stage today. Alicia, you did so good on the camera. <laughs> I was like back up struggling with the gimbal. <laughs> okay guys, Philip makes this look really easy and it's so hard to get all the shots. So credit to Phil, he always films and edits all of the videos for our channel. Oh stop. Uh, so now he has now completed a gorgeous mid-century modern cabinet. Now, one of the things that I love about this is I love the little gold accents you did on the hardware. Thank you. Super cute, add a little modern vibe to it. I love how you left the grain wood in the inside. And then I was so surprised while you were painting this, the, this is actually a dovetail drawered piece, which means it was made really well. And then also if you check out the drawer in the inside, I'm coming in inside the drawer here. If you can take a peek in here, you can see it is actually a really expensive and well-made mid-century modern brand of furniture. So I'm really glad that we were able to score this. Mom found this, $45, well worth it, don't you think? I think it was well worth it. The transformation turned out what I thought was amazing. My vision came to life. Good job, hun. So I'm pretty impressed with Philip's piece. I know that as soon as he saw this piece, he knew exactly what he wanted to do with it. And so with my neck being a little bit tender, I thought I'm gonna give him full reins on this one. And I think he did an incredible job. I love the black. I think it's amazing just to add a little bit of black throughout the house. And since we took out all of the black on the walls in the dining room, I'm okay adding a little bit of black. 
I can't, I uh, can't wait to put in a whole collection of white dishes that I have into this. So it actually goes and fits into our space, but I love how you staged it with a little bit of a masculine vibe and then added a little bit of glam with those gold hardwares. It's a nice touch. You added a little <laughs> like masculine feminine in there. So I think overall he did a great job. If you think Phil did a great job, be sure to hit the like button and show your support. We love getting your feedback. Okay. We have some news. We're pretty excited about it. We have some pretty cool news. I know on our channel, since we started, we've been telling you guys that we as a family are creating a life we love and creating a life we love. We do a lot of DIY projects, but we are a family behind the scenes and we have a bucket list of things that we want to accomplish or do as a family that helps us create a life that we love. And one of those things, got checked off our bucket list today. I think so. Philip has been dreaming of owning a pet, a new family addition. It's not another Basset. What? So don't worry. <laughs> the boys were so in love with what we picked up, so we can't wait to show you. Here's a sneak peek. Never gonna get anything done. I'm just gonna play with my bird. And what time. side? What side did you go? So from? his left side, you said. Just a few. And I held his back like yeah. that a little bit. Just it's you're supposed to have their head tilted right. back. Hmm? You might not. Oh, sure. See how it goes to the right, anyways. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Look at her. Look at his belly. You can feel it. Hi, baby. Hi. You're just a talking away. Hi. You're so nice. This is our new family addition. We need help with a name. This is a green cheek canoe that we rescued today and we are just absolutely in love with it. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl, so we need a unisex name. We're pretty excited <laughs> to add this to our family. We have a lot of plans. I can just imagine all of the nice little snuggles we're gonna get. Always already is seeming super interactive and obviously is just getting some of its feathers and it's been eating really well for us all day so we're just absolutely in love with it so far so if you have any name suggestions please leave them in the comment section let us know we can't wait to show you how this little one is going to transform and grow its feathers and get into really good health over the next couple of weeks and even months it's so funny now that we have our youtube channel when things like this happen we're like i can't wait to tell our youtube families we wanted to let you guys know we got our green cheek canoe today and we're really excited to take care of it and make sure that it has a super good home. Thank you, YouTube family, so much for all your support. We love you. <gasps> oh, we did the I love you <laughs> with the wig. <laughs> it's first I love you. Hi, you're so nice. 